seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for all of the great comments with regards to 10,000 subscribers. I still can't believe we were at 10K. But anyhow, in this video, I want to show you guys some of my ground game secrets. And it's funny, after I post this video, it's not going to be much of a secret anymore to some of my skills on the ground, if you know what I'm saying. But I love you guys so much that I want to share it with you. So let's get started right now. Hang on, Big Daddy. All right, first things first. I know you guys have had situations like this where you're stuck on the mat. Your shoulders are on the mat. You just can't get up. Look at this little secret right there. You want to go and transition into full guard and then immediately go the opposite direction to the get up transition. And it'll go so fast. So let's see it here in slow motion. So I try to get up just regularly. Can't do it. So what I do right here is... I transition to full guard and then right away I go the opposite direction to the get up transition and it goes super fast it's so hard to deny and you're up on your feet in no time now if you're in full guard and you want to get into a dominant top position watch this baby you get into full guard and then quickly do what we did previously get into the get up transition but midway push L1 or LB and you will transition right into half guard on top. So watch this. I get into full guard. I go the opposite way to the get up position. And then I hold L1 or LB. And then I get right into the half guard position. And I'm able to dominate and put my damage on my opponent. And look at this again. So I'm not panicking while I'm on my back. This is very interesting because you don't see this in the tutorial in the game. I'm going into the get up transition, then midway I'm pushing L1 or LB, and then it goes right into half guard on top, and you're able to reverse your opponent. And the great thing is your opponent will now fear you on the ground, and he would want to just keep the fight on the feet, and that's when you polish him off on top and knock him out for the fans and for the ladies. Oh, yeah. Now here's another little nifty tip I want to show you guys. If you are dominating in half guard and your opponent tries to reverse you right there, hold R2 and whatever side they are trying to get up on. So in this situation, as I'm hammering Holly home, what's going to happen tonight, man? Who knows? But see right here, I'm dominating her. She tries to get up and I'm holding R2 for the PS4 or RT for Xbox and right analog because she's on the right side of the screen. If she tries it on the left side of the screen, do it to the left. And you're able to deny it right away and you're, and you're able to continue to hammer time and put the ground and pound action on her and finish the fight. All right, here's the final tip and it has to do with when you get into the mount position and how you are to push a lot of commands before you get into that mount position. What I mean right here is I'm denying my opponent, I'm getting into mount and I'm holding R2 and right analog before I get into the mount as I saw my opponent trying to get out of that position. And your guy will block that transition if you do it before you get into mount. Hopefully I explained that properly. Let's see it right here. So I get into mount, I see his right leg, you see right there? And I push R2 and right analog to the right before I get into mount and your guy will deny his transition right away and at that point he is a dead duck and you're able to posture up and lay the hammer time so let me explain that one more time what I'm doing is I'm getting into mount and then as I'm about to mount my opponent, I'm quickly flicking R2 and right analog to the right. Because as I was mounting him, I saw my opponent creeping his right hand on my leg. So I was hitting it. So right here, once I get into mount, I'm pushing R2 and right analog to the right right now. And there's a little bit of a delay. And then you'll see Neil Magny deny that transition. So I want you guys to try that. If you ever get into the mount position and you see your opponent trying to escape right before you're about to kind of stand in that mount position push r2 and right analog to whatever side he's going and you will deny that transition out and then you're able to lay the hammer time on your opponent all right this is one that i'm pretty sure a lot of guys do 
But who knows, because I just figured that out as I was playing and as I was seeing my opponent move. I'm like, maybe I could try to deny it before I actually get into the mount position. And this game's so deep that it allows you to do that. So let me know if you guys know about this one. It's a kind of a complicated one, but it works, man. And I think you guys should try it. Anyhow, people, thank you so much for stopping by and listening to my ground game secrets. Not much of a secret anymore, but that's okay. I'm always here to help you guys because you know what? Without getting too mushy, I know Valentine's Day is coming up. I love you guys. Come on. A true man can admit his true love. And that's my love for the subscribers, baby. Anyhow, people, have a great weekend. Enjoy the fights tonight. You guys are the best. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome. Before you guys take off, my close friend has launched her jewelry website and I thought I would do her a quick little favor and let you all know about her website, especially since Valentine's Day is around the corner. So she is selling some top quality jewelry, some really cool accessories for women. And if you have a loved one, a special someone on Valentine's Day, you know your good old Valentine and you wanna buy something for her, this is the website to go to. She really sells really awesome and high quality stuff so check it out the one thing i love about this website is she ships worldwide and i don't have to go to the mall <laughs> i don't have to deal with all the crowds there so check it out maybe there's something you like and maybe there's something that's going to make your sweetheart happy so anyhow people thanks for listening to this you guys are the best this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are awesome